The periodic table. This is a picture of the periodic table here. Now you get one of these given to you in your science exam. The periodic table aims to try and show the relationship between all the atoms that were known. Now this is split up into horizontal rows and vertical groups. The horizontal row shows which electron shell is being filled. This first horizontal row shows the atoms that are having the first electron shell filled. Here's our atom. With one proton and one electron, we have hydrogen over here. Now helium has two protons and two electrons. Now the first shell has been filled. So we move on to the second row now, which shows the second electron shell. We start with lithium, which has one electron in its second shell. And we can go right across to neon here, which has a full second shell. Then we move on to the third shell, with sodium, which has one electron in its third shell. And so on. So the horizontal columns show which electron shell is being filled. Now let's have a look at how the atoms change as we go across our rows now. Here are our first atom, one proton and one electron. And across here we've got a full outer shell. We carry on. Lithium has one electron in its outer shell. Two electrons in its outer shell. Three, four, five, six, seven, and a full outer shell when we get to the right hand side. This carries on with the third shell as well. One in its outside shell, two in its outside shell, and so on. This means that the vertical columns, called groups, show how many electrons are in the outermost shell. The first column means one electron is in the outer shell. The second column, two. Now we miss this whole purple section in here. We only worry about the groups that have been raised up. So we script across to group 13 here where there's three electrons in our outer shell, four electrons, five electrons, six electrons, seven electrons. Now this final column or group means that there is a full outer shell. So what you need to know is it's the rows which show which electron shell is being filled. And it's the columns or groups that show how many electrons are in each outer shell. So if I said how many electrons are in group 16, it would be six. How many are in group 17? It would be 7. How many are in group 2? It would be 2. Let's have a look at a question now. It's very common for periodic table questions to be mixed with atoms, isotopes, and ion questions. In this case, the question says magnesium and calcium atoms both form ions with a charge of positive 2. Magnesium atoms form magnesium 2 plus ions, and calcium atoms form calcium 2 plus ions. Explain why magnesium and calcium atoms form ions with the same charge of positive 2. So if we look at our periodic table corner here, which has magnesium and calcium in it, they're both in group 2. Now this is significant, because it means both magnesium and calcium have two electrons in their outer shells. We all know that when something's forming an ion, it gains or loses electrons to get a full outer shell. So the easiest way for magnesium and calcium to do this is by losing two electrons each. If they lose two negative electrons, that means they're left with a charge of positive two. So here's that answer written down in words.